I'm a bit Ooh. shocked. We may never get over all of the bombs dropped in Oprah's interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So joining us live from London is British commentator and a royal expert, Jonathan Sasher Doughty. Hello. Hey, Happy New Year, Nelly. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Okay, so listen, Meghan and Harry really stirred things up with that really? interview. I mean, watching it again, I'm like, Ooh. will their relationship with the royal family ever be repaired? I feel bad for you watching it again because it was kind of <laughs> slow going the first time. Uh, but I don't know if their relationship can be repaired. Let's mm -hmm. face it, they really threw some grenades at the royal family yes. there. And they've kept doing it ever since. It wasn't just on Oprah, but they've been constantly attacking the royal family. And people here in the UK are definitely getting tired of it. Oh, wow. Okay. You are not holding back, Jonathan. Well, you know what? I want to talk about the queen because this is a woman that is, for me, has been revered. And she is missing a lot of events this year. It's been reported that she's missing the pre-Christmas uh, party oh. this year. Um, are people worried about her? Well, people are, of course, worried about the Queen. She's 95 years old. Wow. And as you said, she's cancelled her pre-Christmas lunch, which would have been the first opportunity for a long time to have all of her family close together again. But on the advice of the scientific advisors, she's realised it's just not the right thing to do at this time when COVID is on the up again in the UK. And she's had other problems during the year. She's had health problems, which recently saw her pull out of several public events, mm. including the COP26, which she was going to be at. And instead, she sent a video video message to that. And before that, we also saw that the Queen had started using a walking stick in public, which was really quite written about here in the UK. But when you think about it, for somebody of 95 not to have used a walking stick for quite as long as she did was incredible. Absolutely. So I think that Britain is really hoping that she is taking it easy and uh, taking the advice of her doctors so that she can get back to full action as soon as she wants. But also that that full action might be a little bit toned down, bearing in mind her age and her health. And no one will blame her if she has perhaps a slightly lighter schedule in the future. Right. Schedule. Uh, yeah, by the schedule. We love the way. I feel like I want to work more when you say it that way. Uh, what do you think happens with the royal family in the new year? Do you think there's any possibility that Harry might go visit William? I mean, I know that we saw them at Prince Philip's uh, funeral and they were like, not socializing, but we saw them together. Do you think there's any hope that they may uh, spend some time together in 2022? Well, we did see them speaking at the funeral, yes. which I think was something that they realised they had to do while they were in the public eye. We also saw them together unveiling the statue of their mother, Princess Diana. Mm -hmm. But whether or not we'll see them getting together in a friendly way during 2022, I just don't know. I mean, there are some opportunities. Uh, for example, William and Catherine are due to be in America during the year. So there is perhaps the possibility that they could meet up then either in private or in a more public way. Uh, similarly, the Queen still hasn't met Lilibet, her, one of her new oh, arrivals yeah. in the family and so they may be considering coming to the UK in some capacity so that that might happen but whatever they do it's going to cause such controversy mm -hmm. and it's going to be so scrutinized and looked at and people will criticize them or criticize the royal family and that makes it very difficult now because they've really put up their hackles they've put themselves into such a difficult position and it's pretty hard for them to climb down from that now but the royal family also isn't going to climb down and might feel very distrusting of Meghan and Harry in the future mm -hmm. when they say things to them or reach out to see them again because they know that it might end up on Oprah or with Gail King or someone else. Mm. You know what? But they have to take Lily Beth to go see that queen. Mm. Okay. She's 95 years old. I will be really upset if that doesn't happen. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I think the Queen is said to really love Harry in particular, and she will almost certainly want to see the new great-grandchild, yeah. who is in fact named, named after, after her nickname. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Exactly. And so, I mean, of course she'll want to meet the all of the new babies in the family. They're not the only ones who had children this year, and the Queen has taken an active interest in all of her family's new arrivals all the time. So it will be a great shame if she doesn't get to meet her. Do you think she keeps her crown, or, or will, she, um, uh, will she advocate it? You know, it's really interesting because I get asked this a lot. And the whole thing about a monarchy is that it just passes down the preordained line of succession. And I know that there are things about the monarchy that seem old fashioned, out of date, anachronistic to people in the world who aren't so used to it. But one of the benefits of it is that the next in line tends to know that it's coming for quite some time. And Prince Charles has known that it's coming for a very long time. 70 years. So even if he's not 
quite as popular exactly as perhaps his son, it's almost certain that he'll take the throne and that he'll mm. do his own work in modernizing the family in a way that he sees fit, knowing that his reign will be much shorter than his mother's and yep. that eventually William will take over. But I think they'll follow that line of succession. I agree. All right. Thank you so much for being Thanks, here, Jonathan. Jonathan. Come back anytime, Good you guys. You. you can get more from Jonathan at JonathanSasherDoty.com.